as the stern continues to creep into the air. The power has just gone out, and the ship is about to break it too. And there it goes. The ship is just broken into two pieces. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I've got a special one for you. This is Vehicle Simulator. This is an incredibly old simulator that is still being updated today, and it was created back in 2006 or 7, and it was actually a sequel to the old Virtual Sailor created in the 90s. So yeah, this goes way back, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, here we are in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're over the ocean somewhere but um yeah before i get started i just want to mention that you can purchase these ships in the link in the description uh they are only ten dollars and they're totally worth it they're awesome you just have to follow the download instructions very carefully so yeah here we are let's go ahead and spawn in one of the ships and uh, i think that's going to be the olympic all right here we have the rms olympic 1911 edition now there are different versions we won't be checking them out in this video, but I might do a more in-depth video on the Olympic. This is just a general overview. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get this thing started up, and um, get this thing moving. So yeah. All right, here we are in the bridge. We're gonna click P on the keyboard. That opens up the panel, and if we turn that on, the engine is turned on. Then we move the throttles forward. Actually, we should slowly ramp them up, so... Uh, we don't create a lot of foam at the back of the ship, so let's go ahead and switch out to the exterior view right here, and you can see the propellers are beginning to rotate here, and uh, once we start moving, we'll kick it up to full speed, and um, yeah, so as you can see, propellers are moving, and uh, the ship should be moving very soon. Now, this ship and all of the other Olympic-class ocean liners in this download pack do have interior. However, I did have some difficulty getting that installed. And it uh, doesn't seem to have worked here, so I don't know if there's a bug or something, or maybe I just installed it wrong, but eventually I'm going to figure that out, and uh, I'll do a whole video on that. So, yeah, the ship is now uh, slowly beginning to move, so we'll ramp it up to full speed here. And, uh, wow, we can't see anything. There's a lot of bubbles and whatnot there, and foam as the ship really kicks up to full speed. And, uh, yeah, now we're beginning to move. We should see a wake up here at the front of the ship here, so uh, there it is. There's the wake, and... Now she's moving, so we can switch out to uh, a bit of a uh, third-person perspective of the ship here, which is very cool. Look at that. Beginning to move on the waters of Vehicle Simulator. Holy cow. Another cool aspect of this game is you can get really, really cool underwater views like this. And uh, we're about to see the propellers over there pass over, and it's going to look really awesome. And there they go. There go the propellers, and... Uh, they push the ship forward, and uh, there she goes. Really, really cool. Now, the free cam on this game is quite finicky. You can't really walk on the decks of the ship. You can only kind of zoom forward like this using the left mouse button, and you can zoom back by moving the mouse forward or moving it backwards. But, um, yeah, this is the RMS Olympic. You can see that because, obviously, it has that nameplate there, and... Uh, the open promenades and the slight porthole and window differences but um yeah very very cool another really cool shot of olympic here but uh this is not the main goal for having the olympic spawned in here we are going to collide this with another ship so let's go ahead and uh, let's spawn in another ship all right folks i've just spawned in the uss enterprise so we're gonna see who's gonna win the battle here so what we're going to do is we are just going to go into third person uh, flying mode here. And we are going to see what happens when the Olympic crashes into this significantly old um, uh, aircraft carrier. And by significantly old, I don't mean that the ship is old. I mean the model is old. I mean, there's barely any details on it. But uh, here we go. Let's find out what happens. So it is about to hit. And there's the collision. So, um... Don't exactly know who's won this. Um, interesting. It doesn't seem to have done anything significant to the Olympic. And, um, nope, nothing significant to the, uh, the aircraft carrier either. But, uh, let's see if we can go ahead, start up the, uh, the engine here. There we go. And just go full speed ahead and we'll see what happens so here comes the olympic and uh, looks like the aircraft carrier is um not stopping going in reverse so uh that's quite interesting we might have to try this out with a smaller vessel you know what let's do that ah yes a little boat well it's a large boat i mean it would cost 
a significant amount of money to, to own this boat here. Oh no, the Olympic. Oh gosh, oh no, what's happened? We've been struck. How could this have happened? I know, it's crazy. That's why you're waving your arms. Oh my gosh, uh, that's just sad. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, it seems like the Olympic has uh, done good with this one. Um, yeah, well, there goes the, uh, the boat there. All right, here is the second Olympic class ocean liner we're checking out today, and this is the HMHS Britannic. Again, most of you should be familiar with this one, and um, yeah, this was sunk by striking a mine. Now, this does come with a sinking simulation, but that's going to be in another video. We'll check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop aboard and start this up. Going into the panel, turning on the engine, slowly bringing up the throttle here, and then we'll switch into the third person mode or global view, and we'll see those propellers starting to move here. As you can see, they are beginning to go, and the Britannic should start moving very, very soon here. Now, it's quite easy to turn off the lights with the ship. All you have to do is click Control A, and there you go. The lights will turn off, I believe, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out, but uh, yeah, there they go. They just turned off there, but um, yeah, we're slowly moving ahead. We're going to go ahead and crank it up to full speed here, and um, yeah, we should be moving now. All right, now that we're moving, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a tour of the exterior of the Britannic. So as the ship passes by here, you can see you've got your gantry davits, your lifeboats, you've got the uh, the elevator hoist there, the uh, machinery there, the dome cover, second funnel, of course. You've got rafts, you've got the raised roof over the lounge or the surgery rooms. You've got the third funnel got more ventilation, uh, the second uh, grand staircase cover, fourth funnel, you've got your motorboat, which is cool, and then you've got your stern bit. So, um, yeah, let's see if he's got the morgue on board. He should. Yep. There's the morgue there. And, yeah. There we go. So, that is the decks of the Britannic. Now, there is more. I think we can go ahead and just kind of look into the promenades here. Yep, he has that wall. He has a door there that I'm not familiar with. I don't know where he saw that from. But, um, yeah, as you can see, we have the hospital beds and everything. And you can just go out. And there we go. So, yeah. Now, I know there's interior, but I mentioned before that I've had trouble getting it to work. So, we'll have to wait until later until I get that fixed. But, yeah. Whoa, that is a really cool shot there. This is really, really awesome. And as I mentioned, um, this does have a sinking simulation. It is really cool. I've checked it out, and um, we're going to have to do a whole video on it because it is really, really cool. And um, there she goes, sailing off. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Titanic, and um, we are going to check out the Titanic sinking simulation uh, in this game. So, yeah, here we go. All right, and here we have the third and final Olympic class liner, the RMS Titanic, which you should all be familiar with by now. So, yeah, the RMS Titanic hit an iceberg and sank in 1912, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing moving just like we've gotten all the other ones moving. So, yeah, all right, first we're gonna turn on the engine, then we're gonna slowly throttle up. We'll bring it down a little bit there, and uh, we'll get this thing, uh, slowly moving and then we'll go to full speed and then we'll explore the ship so like the previous ones the propellers are starting up now and as you can see they are rotating i think they're at their desired speed so we're gonna go ahead and let's go full speed here there we go and yeah we should be moving very very soon all right the ship is now moving as you can see and um yeah this ship has lots and lots of details like the previous ones you've got deck chairs you even got the shuffleboard on the raised roof here and uh, going back you've got the canvas covers of course and the lifeboats like all the other ones you've got ventilators benches pretty much everything that you would see on a pretty detailed model of the titanic so yeah that's pretty much everything that the ship has on the decks so let's go ahead and test the ship's maneuverability. All right, so we're going to use this sailboat as our iceberg here. So let's go ahead, let's go into the helm, and let's go hard to starboard. Here we go. We are turning hard to starboard here. Okay. So I think it should be set. Yep. And it looks like we're moving pretty decently here. I mean, look at that. The ship actually looks like it's going to clear 
Yeah, look at that. It's actually clearing the, um, the sailboat there. Really cool. Really, really cool. So we actually were able to clear the, uh, imaginary iceberg there. And, um, yeah, but that is not all. We're gonna go ahead and spawn in the sinking version of the ship because it is really, really cool. All right, here we are. It is the 14th of April, 1912. Titanic has just struck an iceberg and she is about to go down here. So all we have to do is switch to uh, F1 on the keyboard, which is basically the uh, player mode. And then all we have to do is click Control A and she begins to sink. Then we can switch back out and then we can experience the sinking. So here we go. So you can see she's beginning to drop in the water here and the lifeboats will soon lower away. So what we're gonna do so we're just going to fly over here, and we're going to check it out. So, uh, yep, there they go. They had just been swung out, and uh, let's go over to the other side here, and we'll see the same thing happening. Really, really cool. All of these have been hand-animated, I believe, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, you can see water starting to lap over the well deck there. And uh, if you're wondering why it sinks so fast, that's because there is a certain time limit in-game. And the animations can only go to a certain limit, as I just mentioned. And if they go over that limit, they just freeze and stop working. So that's why most of the sinking is very quick. But uh, it will slow down as soon as we get to the final plunge here. But you can see the collapsibles are trying to get off the ship. They're trying to hook it back into the falls. That's the wrong dab that they're, that they're using, but uh, that's fine. You can see the water is um, on the boat deck and it is starting to pick up that boat there and move it and uh, let's go over to one of these lifeboats and get a cool perspective of the sinking oh my gosh oh we're a little too close to the water there so let's kind of zoom out a little bit that's much better and you can see we'll follow the water up here but you can see it's already flooding the boat deck and i think this is kind of where it switches into real time so um uh, let's go ahead and go over to the other side real quick and see what it looks like from there so over on this side, wow, look at that. What a dramatic view there, and uh, we wanna get a view of that funnel collapsing as well. So that's why I'm moving all over the place. I wanna get different views of things here, but um, yeah, you can see it is rapidly flooding now. All right, there goes the funnel collapsing into the water, and there it goes. Holy cow, all right. Now the stern is really starting to come out of the water. You can see the propellers there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a stern view on the port side. Oh wow, look at that shot there. You can see the propellers rising out of the water along with the rudder, the whole stern, the bow is going down. There's only three funnels now and uh, actually that second funnel is about to collapse. And I believe it collapses over to starboard, which is correct. And um, yeah, the ship is really creeping into the air here. Oh my gosh, she is rapidly going down. Another view here, this time from the forward port side of the ship. And, um, yeah, that second funnel is just about to go now, or I think it should be just about to go. Might be the waves. The waves are a little higher than it would be on the real sinking, but, um, they'll do. Yeah, no more lifeboats remain, of course, on the ship because they're all in the water. And there goes the second funnel, gone into the water there. Holy cow. Here's another dramatic view of the ship going down, this time from the port side. As the stern continues to creep into the air, the power has just gone out and the ship is about to break into and there it goes the ship is just broken into two pieces and wow there she goes let's go ahead and switch over to the port side and there is the breakup the bow is pulled down and the stern is actually pulled up here as it is still connected in this sinking theory so yeah wow she is really going under now and um Again, I believe this is all in real time at this stage. Water is rapidly creeping up the decks, and um, there she goes. She is turning on her side, going vertical as well here. And this will be it for the RMS Titanic and for the video, because once this goes down, that'll be it. So, um, yeah, there she goes. The stern going into the air there, almost vertical, and just slowing down a little bit, and there she goes. The Armas Titanic has just slipped below the waves. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.